Hello and welcome to Toto TCG. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with another Disney Lorcana video on the channel. And we're going to be checking out another Shimmering Skies product. Oh, yes. So, in today's video, we're going to be checking out the Illumineers Trove. There it is, right there. It is ready to go. We are extremely excited to be opening this up. It is the full box, shows all the contents on the back, which we'll have a little look at, and everything which would normally feature on the booster, uh, the actual booster packs themselves and boxes with all the characters featured here. So the actual main box is on the inside, which all we've got to do is that. <laughs> Destroy the top, unfortunately, but then we get into the main thing, which is, of course, our Illumineers trove for this set. We only ever open up one of these, but my goodness me, does that look really nice there. That lore symbol there, nice and shiny and bright. All the different colours going around here. A couple of uh, colours I can definitely make out, and a few others that I'm a little bit, little bit, mm, I'm a little bit interested with. I'm like, oh, we've got multiple colours going on here. We've only got six inks, but there's multiple colours. Could that be a little spoiler? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but we've got Kronk on the side, we've got Donald Duck, we got Maui, and we've also got Vanellope Von Sweets. And then on the back there is all of the different ink symbols. Let's get into it. Let's see what we've got in here, taking the lid off. And it does look very empty. Believe me, once we've opened everything, this thing is crammed. The other four sets are completely jam-packed. I've even had to put cards down the side because there's so many um, in there. But I'm hoping when we get some folders, I'll take all the legendaries out and then at least that'll give it a little bit more space. But taking out what we've got in here, we've got a little regular sort of um, papery plastic. This basically protects our lovely... Our lovely, there they are, card dividers, and they are looking mighty fine. Oh, they are popping off very nice. Look at that. Not in the, not in the right order, uh, I will say, but we can fix that very quickly. <laughs> and now they are in the right order. So very, very helpful. The last set we did have the rarity symbols instead and the different colours, which I did kind of use as sort of like going through, but I do prefer this probably over everything else. So love having those in there because it definitely helps. We've got our dice in here as well, which have got this lovely sparkly effect with a purple text. Let's have a little look at these. So this is our third set with... Uh, Three dice, or this has got six dice, of course, but our third set and our third load of dice here. All sets have had different ones, but look at those. Very, very nice indeed. They are popping very, very good on the camera there. There we go, look at them. Nice sparkly with that purple hint there. Loving those. Might have to switch mine up for these, possibly. Because they do, they do pop quite nicely. But I do like it. I don't know whether you can see that on camera. Some of the text on the side sort of bleeds through. Which is quite interesting. But yeah, I love them. I'll pop them over there. Little baggy over there. We don't need that plastic. Uh, we've got, of course, our eight packs from this box right here. We're going to see what we can get from those in just a bit. We've also got our spinner as well. Which is looking very awesome indeed with our colours right here. We've got Amethyst, I'm guessing Steel. We've got Sapphire. Then we've got Ruby, Amber and Emerald on the back there. So just the six. But yeah, I do quite like this one. Um, we've got an interesting promo one coming up for uh, the, the like monthly promo things for all the different tournaments and all of that with a Winnie the Pooh. That looks really cool, um, but I do quite like how we get like a bit of a bog standard one, but the spinner itself is very easy to sort of get to. There was one where it was like a small little gap, whereas this is, like you can see, very, very easy to just spin. So always very, very cool. We've got our little extra bits here. These are sort of like extra dividers. To be honest, I keep these because what it does help do is it gives the top of the box a little bit of room. So if I've ever got something on the top, so the first couple of sets came with like an instruction book and also the cardboard deck boxes, we don't get them anymore, but it sort of protects them from that. So I keep that in there just in case. You can take it out, you don't have to keep it in there, but it does keep all the cards in line and it does sort of give you a little bit of extra sort of, um, I want to say storage, but it's more like, you know, sorting it all out for you for the storage. Um, but let's get everything all 
presented nicely first. Got our dice, got our lore counter, and then of course our eight packs here. Well, what are we gonna pull? Well, let's have a little look. Usually we normally end up with one legendary, so whether we whether we duplicate on a legendary, I would love it if we pull an enchanted in one of these. I've seen some people do it. A lot of people have mentioned, yeah, I got mine in it. I'm like, really, you got yours in a luminous trove? Okay, that's cool. So let's see, let's see what we do with our one here. Let's start things off with, of course, a Donald Duck. Do you know what? Let's bring it all the way down here. Hopefully that's all good. Looks, looks all good to me. Let's pop this over to the side. And um, we've got ourselves a Maleficent gateway here. We're gonna go through, if we do get anything worthy of giving it a bit of a shout out, then we will do so, but here we go. So first pack, we've got Hypnotic Strength. We've got Flora, Donald Duck. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse number two. We've got a Minnie Mouse into Finders Keepers. We've got Clarabelle. And we've got Pete as our last uncommon into the rare, yeah, looks like it. We've got Sherwood Forest right there. Not a new one for us, but Sherwood Forest nevertheless. Into another rare, and that's gonna be Namari as well. Namari is hiding an uncommon Minnie Mouse. Very cool. I don't think we've got that one as a hollow just yet, so all good there. So two rares to start off with. Let's see how we continue things here. With eight packs, you'd normally think that that's been taken from a uh, booster box of eight in a row, rather than uh, just all dotted all over the place. But we will see. We will see what happens. We've got a Minnie Mouse. We've got Gale. We've got Banzai. Evil comes prepared. We've got Rudy into Donald Duck. Then we've got Fix It Felix Jr. into Fudge. <laughs> Anyone watching the first uh, booster box will know why we've called that Fudge. There we go. We've got Finders Keepers into our rare here of a Gaston Pure Paragon right there. An awesome little subtitle there into... It's going to be another rare, but it's going to be the Great Illumineer. I don't think we had this... Uh, Illuminary, sorry. Um, this is not one I don't think we had, but it helps support us out. Which is interesting. There we go. Great Illuminier. <laughs> Can't say it now. Illuminier. Illuminary. Illuminary. There we go. Oh dear. Right. And then a common of Gazelle right there as our hollow. My goodness me. I said it and then I couldn't say it again. Mad. Mad, 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 mad. Okay. On to the next. It is Maui again. Did we just have Maui? I think we did. Ooh, it's a Mickey. Okay, so they're not in order. Hmm, interesting. All right, so we've got Healing Decanter. We've got Retrosphere. Clarabelle, the common variety. Break Free. Hey, hey. We've got Ever As Before. We have got ourselves The Library. A gift for Belle. There is Ed, right there. Ooh. We've got ourselves a Steel Chromacon as well. Then we've got a Coda as our rare. Oh, it's a slightly dinged rare. I don't know whether you can see that at the bottom. You see that light whitening on the bottom there? I don't think I did that, but there we go. We go straight into another rare here. Code it into Shenji. Okay. And, oh, another rare. We get Olaf. Oh, we didn't get this one. That's cool. I love this artwork so much. Love it so much. He's messing around on a little snowman or snow golem thing. <laughs> it does, it really does look cool. Um, and it's another one of those. For, every, for each exerted character opponents have in play, you pay one less to play this character. Ooh, if they have like three or four, then you're putting this down for possibly five. Ooh, could be interesting. Okay. Uh, put the hollow over there. And the regulars over there. We've got ourselves still five packs here. Anything can happen here. Not a super rare just yet, but it's all good. There he is. We got Stitch. Nice. All right. So <clears throat> we've got Fix It Felix Jr. Cogsworth, Ed, Rattigan, Shield of Arendale, Basil, we've got Fix-It Felix Jr., Merlin's Carpet Bag, into Rattigan's Party location. First rare here, we've got Don't Let the Frostbite Bite, and super, yep, there it is, Blast from the Past, ooh, okay. Uh, name a card, return all character cards with that name from your discard to your hand. Ooh, okay. Could be quite interesting. A little situational thing there. If you're running a deck with a ton of the same name, that could be very awesome. And it comes back to your hand as well. And it's a song. 
Not bad. Going into a common there, we've got Vanellope Von Sweets as well. Cool. First super there. First super of the box. And I think that's the first one of that super. Oh, it's another Mickey. Okay, these are definitely not in a row. So we've got Vanellope Von Sweets again. We're going to Anna. Obscura Sphere. We've got Daisy Duck. Duck for cover. The Queen. We've got Maleficent. Going into Robin Hood. Arthur. Whoop. We got a rare of Pete. Okay. In the very <laughs> fitting attire. There we go. We got Pete into another rare, and that's going to be of Ch Chicha. Chicha rare going into Super Hollow. Yes, we'll take that. The Queen. Fairest of all. Very awesome indeed. In the mirror right there. Popping the crown on. Hopefully that's focusing. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Very cool. We'll take that. Actually, you know what? Let's move all of these over here because we seem to be just stacking them. We've got three packs though. We've got three packs and a Maui is up next. Tons of Maui in this opening. What are we getting as our thing? Are we going to get an Elsa? Yeah, there we go. We got Elsa. All right, so commons, let's go. We've got Rut into Merlin, Zazu. Ooh, did we see this one before? We might have. Uh, we've got Butter. There we go. <laughs> Simba into Prince John. Prince John into Try Everything. Then we've got Patcher. Pete as the game's referee. Pete is going into a rare here, and that's going to be of Magicka Dispel right there. Magicka to spell leading to... Oh, here we go. We got Legendary. Oh, it's a new one as well. We got Robin Hood. Okay, we'll definitely take that. Actually, did we get Robin Hood? No, I don't think we did. I've just seen a lot of people talking about this. Oh, look at all that shiny shine as well going on there. A little bit of confetti is being given the shiny shine treatment. His, arrow, his bow and arrow is. He is as well. Hopefully that's coming across very nicely. Love this bit down here as well. The fact that you've got the arrows going in here. I love this little subtle extra detail. Very, very cool indeed. Looks like a pretty interesting one as well. It's a four drop, one four for two lore. Whenever this character quests, look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal an action card with cost six or less and play it for free. Put the rest in your discard. Could be a very interesting one indeed, especially for actions. Very awesome. Robin Hood right there, going into, it's going to be a common, and it's going to be a Sneezy. There we go, we get Sneezy as our foil common right there. So we've lived up to expectations with one Legendary. But can we go any more? Oh, we got another of Maleficent, let's see. Alright, so we've got a Kenai, uh, Hypnotic Strength, Flora, Donald Duck. We've got Happy, Donald Duck. We've got Fudge, Bruni. We've got an Amber Chromicon going into our rare here. We've got a Pride Lands with, a, again, it seems to be the same thing here. We've got that whitening down here, but a little, a slight little bit of movement, and that seems to go. But we've got Pride Lands there. Going into Super. Yeah, it's going to be a Super of Maximus right there. There we go, Team Champion. Throwing Flynn around whilst he's uh, playing Tug of War, I think. Yeah, a bit of Tug of War going on. At the bottom, what, what have we got behind Maximus? Let's see, we've got an uncommon, and it's going to be of Arthur, the novice sparrow right there. Super right there. And that leads us with one pack left to go. Does the enchanted dream happen today? Do we go for two legendaries in this box? Or can we see maybe some magic happen? Let's see, let's see. All right, here we go. We've got Healing Touch into White Rabbit, Night Howler Rage, Evil Comes Prepared, we've got Rudy, we've got Ch uh, Ch Chaka, Chaka, All Fund Out, Emerald Chromicon, Pete, another one of those, wow, we're getting a lot of those in this opening, okay, Pete, into Rare here, and we've got Prince John's Mirror, definitely seen that one before, but there we go, Prince John's Mirror, and we go second one, and that's going to be We Know The Way, action song. Okay, there we go. We Know The Way into a common, and it's going to be Hypnotic Deduction right there. 
So overall, not too bad. I've put the rare there. What am I, do what am I doing? What am I doing? Plenty of rares though in that opening, to be fair. Plenty of them going in to our lovely collection there. None of them, yet again, duplicates. None of them duplicates of themselves in this opening. We've maybe had some of these already, but we'll definitely take that. Brand new super rare in Blast from the Past as well. And of course a brand new legendary, putting us up to six legendaries now. So only uh, six more to go. Six more to go and we've got plenty of stuff still to open. So there we go. There is, of course, our Illumineers trove all opened up. We got that. We got that. We, we did get some nice hollows as well there. Some very nice hollows with a super and a rare. But yeah, we've got plenty of stuff still to come. Um, we should have a booster box coming up next. So stick around for that because we should have plenty of stuff still to come after that as well. But yeah, I will leave it here for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy and I shall catch you guys in the next video on the channel. I'll see you then.